Which choose? Your questions might not reflect their deepest wishes, and it's not our place to answer them. It's sad that she seems to be in the same place that Shifan was, but they both wanted help. That is why they made these wishes. So aside from helping her make a choice, there are other factors we must consider. Indeed, the wish shows a struggle between her longing and a promise she made to her son. She speaks of another world, likely hinting her child has passed away, leaving her alone with nobody to care for her. We can't draw a conclusion solely based on words alone. I'm curious as to what drove her to write these words. Her Ing and her son. What's their story? What promise did they share? What is it? Is there something on your mind? No, nothing. It's just that... Is it really for us to take on a wish tied to life and death? She knows the pain of separation from a loved one better than anyone else. If we handle this wrong, it might... So that's what you're worried about. It seems what Bai just said about you is true. You do have a gentle soul. <laughs> Ever thought about becoming the mysterious wish granter of Moon Tree Lodge yourself? You're right to be concerned, but... The Moon Tree Lodge's very existence is to have every wish be heard. Ignoring people's pain isn't right. Besides, we're not trying to force Mrs. Herring to make a choice. Our role is to listen, understand, and reflect. Ultimately, the choice lies in Mrs. Herring's hands, but it's getting late. Let me know when you're ready for our next task. Excuse me? You must be Mrs. Herting? Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Oh, hello. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Who might you be? My name is Xiang Li Yao, and this is the rover. I apologize for the unannounced visit, ma'am. Rover? Rover? Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, I remember now. You're the hero of Jinzhou, aren't you? Defeated that terrible beast. Everyone's been talking about it. My thanks to you. You've realized my son's vision. Oh, how joyful he'd be seeing Jinjo now. Since he was little, my boy dreamed of shielding me and all of Jinjo. He'd always say, I'll conquer the Thranodian one day, so everyone can live peacefully. That's what drove him to join the Midnight Rangers. Huh, yes. I always had faith that my son would achieve his dreams. He never stopped striving. Once, he and some Rangers stayed behind during a mission to give folks like me a chance to flee. I know he did it to chase his dreams, but... But now he's gone. And he'll never witness the defeat of the Thranodians. I just... Oh. We used to celebrate every moon-chasing festival at the stalls. And he'd make wishes at the Moon Tree Lodge. His mischief sometimes tried my patience. But now... The silence is overwhelming. I can't help but wonder if... if he's lonely wherever he is. Oh, perhaps I should join him. But before he left, he made me promise to be witness to the day the Thranodians are finally gone. What am I to do? Oh dear, 
I rambled on about my boy again. What brings you here today, dear? Do you remember the wish you made at the Moon Tree Lodge, Mrs. Herting? Well, of course. I do. Everyone knows the Moon Tree Lodge has magical powers. I see. You must have been sent here to help me fulfill my wish. Is that right? You granted his wish beautifully. I trust you might do the same for mine. Though, really, I have nothing much left to ask for. As I've mentioned in my wish, I find myself at a crossroads, unable to decide. I hope the Moon Tree Lodge can clear my doubts. When deciding your answer... Oh, yes. I recall they say it's best to speak the answer in front of the Moon Tree Lodge. Oh, yes, absolutely. Mrs. Her Ing, might you consider a visit to the lodge with us? The Tao Yuan Vale is preparing for the moonlit fair, and the atmosphere is quite lively. Perhaps a walk will lift your spirits. A walk? Oh, my heart hasn't really been in it since I lost my son. And, well, my legs don't carry me as well as they used to. Well, okay. If you think it might help find the answers, then perhaps we should try. What was that about? <laughs> it was just a little trick to get Mrs. Herting to join us at the lodge. You probably sensed it after hearing her story. The promise between Mrs. Herring and her son wasn't just about seeing his wish granted, but about finding peace in her life and her grief. Mrs. Herring overlooked what her son truly wished for. I believe he wanted her to see Jinjo uniting to defeat the Thernodian and the joy and security he sacrificed himself to safeguard. His wish for his mother represents not just life's simple joys, but also the courage to keep living. Though I can't say for certain, the moonlit fair in Tao Yuan Vale holds the dreams of many. Perhaps there's something her son wanted her to see. A reason to embrace life. Oh, how are you youngsters falling behind an old lady? Come on, I'm waiting on you. This year's Moon Chasing Festival sure is lively. Indeed it is. Look at the crowd. Oh, so many things I've never seen before. It's quite exciting. You young folks must be thrilled with all this. Go on, enjoy yourselves. Don't mind this old lady. Mrs. Hang has been doing her best to stay cheerful since we arrived at Tao Yuan Vale. Let's take her to see more of the fair. Happy Moon Chasing Festival. Would you like to browse our fan paintings? This one is exquisite. Just look at the fireworks bursting to life on the fan. I've never seen anything like it. You have excellent taste, Mum. This fan is the creation of Ms. Judge. It's the moon chasing festival from her imagination. The fireworks seem to fly to the other side of the fan. And these capes. Ah, oh, yes. They represent the Midnight Rangers. A special touch from Ms. Judge. She hopes that everyone who sees this fan will feel the liveliness of the Moon Chasing Festival. And remember that the festivities are all thanks to the brave rangers. 
The fireworks flying to the other side are meant to share the celebration with the soldiers on the front lines. This year's fireworks display will be the biggest yet. Even the soldiers should be able to see it. You won't want to miss it. I'd like to buy one of these fails. Oh my, Taryun Vale hasn't been this busy in a long time. People coming and going, sharing their wishes and blessings with the moon. <laughs> How wonderful. Ah, the Moon Shooter Gallery. My son was so good. Every year at the Moonlit Fair, it was his favorite. Mrs. Her... <clears throat> Happy Moon Chasing Festival, everyone. Want to give the Moon Shooter game a try? Lots of rewards to be had. Skills. Here are your prizes. These prizes? Did you make them yourself? That's right. The Moonlit Fair is about community, so we thought practical items would be more meaningful. A ranger instructor taught us how to make them. Even though he's no longer with us, his instructions and methods continue to guide us. These tools were a great help when we first joined the Rangers. We've now improved them to help even more people. Please take them, Mrs. Herring. I'm sure Shoyuan would want you to have them. And you are... You might not remember, but after Shoyuan passed, I tried to visit you. You didn't want to see me then. I never expected we'd meet here. It's good to see you out and about. Show you when always talked about how good a mother you were. By the way, some of the soldiers who served with Show you when are here today. I'm sure they'd love to see you. Look, here they come. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mrs. Hoeing. Show you when was an incredible mentor to me. I wouldn't have the nerve to wield a weapon now if it wasn't for him. I heard you were the one who taught him how to overcome his fear of the water. So, the boy taught you everything I taught him. Mrs. Herring? Mrs. Herring? Oh, I'm still here. Please, go on. I'd love to hear more stories about Shoyuan's time with the Rangers. Of course, ma'am. Why don't we go have a seat over there first? We've got plenty of stories to share with you. Before that, thank you, Shangli Yao and Rover. Just as I said before, I knew that both of you would make my wish come true. But before I visit the Moon Tree Lodge for the answer, I'd like to walk around a bit more on my own. I trust that this answer will be right for you. Yes. Thank you, both.
Do you think Mrs. Hine understood the promise she made to her son? We can't be sure just yet, but at least she's made a good start. Don't you agree? Now she isn't just going along with us. She's searching for the life her son wanted for her. I believe she'll uncover her answer someday and make her own choice, without relying on the Moon Tree Lodge. But it means this wasn't the wish affecting Patty either. We'll have to keep digging. At any rate, more stalls are being set up in Taoyuan Vale. Care to explore further? <laughs>